Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And I'm a little upset I even have to make this video, but it's definitely worth everyone knowing. Feel free to share this video if you'd like. But anyways, there is a very solid chance that your mobile carrier is probably throttling your data. Now, a big problem is that they're throttling it in specific services. Now, I was able to test this on T-Mobile and Verizon and got throttled on both of them. I will show you that in just a second. Uh, but that was only through Netflix, YouTube, and potentially other services as well. Now, like I said, I was only able to test it on those two carriers. So if you have other carriers, maybe at t Sprint, others, please drop a comment, run these tests yourself, and let me know your results if you're getting throttled and whatnot. And even if you do have T-Mobile, I did find a workaround and for some reason a setting set off that you can switch to actually unthrottle your data. So let's begin with the first test and I'm going to test Verizon first and I'll, I'm able to test it using Netflix and YouTube as well. So first of all, I wanna run a gener generic speed test on their LTE network. I just go through google.com, their speed test. So you'll see I'm getting about 44 plus megabits per second download speed. So very, very good download speeds. I do live in Chicago. I generally get very good LTE data speeds on all carriers essentially. So you'll see here, very good data speeds. I don't need to run through the upload test. But now what I'm gonna do is run a test on what uh, the website fast.com, which is run through Netflix servers. So very similar to as if you were watching a video on Netflix. And what I think for, happens is the mobile carrier recognizes that it's going through Netflix servers and you'll see I'm only getting 11 megabits per second download speed. And they do throttle it generally around 10 and that is consistent. This uh, video is actually spurred from a Reddit thread. I will link to it down below. And people are reporting very similar results. I hope you drop a comment, let me know what your results are. But like I said, this is throttled at 10 megabits per second fast.com through Netflix servers. Now, I wanna go ahead and jump into YouTube and you'll see I'm on my YouTube channel right here and of course, this will help with buffering and things taking time to load, especially if you're trying to watch a video even at 1080p. So first of all, what I wanna do is jump into settings and show you how to uh, activate this. So go to settings general, make sure you don't limit mobile data usage, that is a key. And then make sure you check enable stats for nerds. Oops, didn't actually mean to back out of that. Let's go back into YouTube. Um, and then I want to go ahead and search for a video. So let's go ahead and load up a video real quick. Of course, this is my video. Looks like there's an ad that's going to load real quick. Skip that or watch it if, you, if you'd like to. Uh, anyways, so here's a video. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch the, the quality. You'll see it's already set to 1080p and it's, and it's running through. Looks like it's a little jittery. There it goes. Take some time to buffer and load up that video. But now, you see it's taking some time. Let's go into settings real quick and stats for nerds. And those pop up and check out the bandwidth you'll see it is only at 3.45 megabits per second that should be much higher than that i'm not exactly sure why you're not getting the bandwidth that you would get on the regular speed test to see only 6.92 so similar to a seven you'll see similar to that fast.com speed test i think it's recognizing where the data is coming from and throttling it specifically throttling the speeds as well and this is fine Maybe if you have a limited data plan, but if you have an unlimited data plan, this makes no sense. You wanna utilize the max speeds as much as possible. Now let's go ahead and run the exact same tests on a phone on T-Mobile's network. So again, this is a generic internet speed test from google.com. Looks like it's stalling a bit. It should go ahead and run through and finish with a final number. But again, 59, so almost 60 megabits per second download speeds, and you'll see Upload speeds are fantastic as well. So T-Mobile's network looking good. Now let's do the exact same thing. Let's go to fast.com through Netflix servers again. And you'll see it starts out really high. You see 19 and then it dro keeps dropping down. Why is it doing that? It, it, it shouldn't do that. And I, like I said, I think T-Mobile sees, oh, Netflix servers. Let's go ahead and start throttling this data. And you'll see it goes all the way down to about three megabits per second. That's generally what the average speed I have been getting throttled on T-Mobile. And you'll see it's even going sub three megabits per second. So pretty unacceptable. Again, let's go ahead and jump into YouTube. Okay, so loaded up a video, just switched it to 1080p quality, going to try and scroll through and you'll see it is taking a good amount of time to load. And let's go to those stats and let's take a look at what that bandwidth says. So it takes a little bit of time to load up. And there we go, now that it's loaded, take a look, 1.47 megabits per second. It's no wonder that these videos are taking so long to buffer 
while I'm on mobile data. And this is just unacceptable. And especially because if they go the route of, okay, looks like we're gonna throttle your speeds on YouTube, pay more, an extra $10 fee or something to get unlimited HD streaming where you don't get throttled. That is just insane and should not be the case. Now for me, I'm on a T-Mobile One plan and I realize there is a way which may be included in your plan, which may not be. You're gonna have to call and check. I called and checked. They said I'm not gonna get billed for it. At least if you're on T-Mobile, there's a way to actually uh, turn off this throttling, at least from my experiences. All right, so let's get started. And you'll see I'm on my T-Mobile account, my.tmobile.com website. I'm blurring out a bunch of stuff for obvious reasons. Anyways, all you have to do is hop up into profile in the upper right-hand corner here and click on it. And then once you've done that, on the left side here, you'll see something called media settings. Click on that and you'll see you can set your media preferences. It might look different depending on the T-Mobile plan you're on, but what you need to do is check this to on. So I'm going to do that actually. If I go to my line of service, it should be off. And that is why I was getting throttling. And this is set by default. It's set off by default. And then I got lucky enough to have it included in my plan. So that's just me. A lot of T-Mobile customers might not have it included in their plan. And even if they do, it's set off by default. So what I'm gonna do is check the HD video resolution and turn it on and run those tests again. So now that I've checked it, I'm gonna reboot my phone and run those exact same tests. So every time I turn this on and off, I get a message from T-Mobile. It says purchasing HD video. And I said, okay, I'm not gonna pay for this. I called in, they said it's included in my plan. I will not get billed. I turned it off. It says HD video was removed. You will still be charged on your bill. I called again. They said, don't worry, I won't be charged. So I turned it back on just now. It says you may need to reboot to activate your pass, which is fine. But let's go ahead and run those exact same tests. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the fast.com one, of course, because you will know that the data speeds on the Google one were just fine. So there we go, fast.com. After turning that on all the way up to 65 megabits per second, insane. That was after I switched that toggle that was set off by default. So clearly they are doing some throttling um, and let's go to YouTube as well so we can show that off. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and check it out right there, 53.1 megabits per second. Just what it should be. You utilize the full speeds of your data and you, you'll you see they're clearly throttling it and unfortunately that's the case. You might uh, need to pay extra to not get throttled data, which is incredibly dumb and should not be the case, uh, which is just, I cannot get over how this is okay and allowed. And again, this is just testing on Verizon. I don't even think Verizon has a switch. I got lucky enough to have it included in my plan on T-Mobile, but I'm not sure if Verizon even has a switch to, to change it, to switch from that 10 megabits per second throttling. But there you have it. Really wanted to raise some awareness to this, so please share the video if you would like to. Definitely test it out on your AT&T Sprint, all of your other carriers as well, and see if they are throttling your data. And of course, you might wanna call and check and see if there's some sort of switch to actually get that throttling off. Although they don't call it throttling, they just call it, oh, it's set to lower quality video by default instead of HD video. That is not the case. Clearly, they are throttling it depending on what servers it's running through. So uh, definitely worth sharing, worth knowing about. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe as well, I'd really appreciate it. Lots more videos coming soon. And as always, thank you very much for watching, guys.